morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Some of my favorite stories that I've heard on the show actually belong to former clients of the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. These men and women never fail to amaze and inspire me. They have all turned their lives around completely. And to this day, they help others who might be in a similar position that they found themselves in at one time. My guest this morning, she is going to share one of those inspiring stories with us today. Carrie, thank you so much for being here and joining me this morning. Sure, my pleasure. <laughs> All right, Carrie, now I understand that you walked through the doors of the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition a year ago. Just a year ago. All right. Yes. Uh, Carrie, why did you make that decision to walk through those doors? Sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you don't have a choice mm -hmm. and you know you're faced with decisions you have to make in an instant. Mm -hmm. um, I have a one uh, I had a one-year-old daughter and I was nine months pregnant with my second and um, we lost our place, we lost where we were living, we, mm -hmm. we, we lost our jobs and I couldn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know, no friends or family um, could take us in and you know. Mm -hmm. You found a home with, with the Outreach Coalition mm -hmm. and, and they welcomed you with open arms, they didn't they? Sure <laughs> did. So, uh, I mean, this, this is pretty incredible though because you had a one-year-old and you were pregnant and how many months? Nine months. Nine pregnant. months pregnant. <laughs> so you had another one that was going to mm -hmm. be here any second. And obviously, yes. as a mother of one child already, you didn't want your child to, to not have a home. Right. So what happened when you made that decision? You walked through those doors. You got embraced by the Outreach Coalition. What, what happened next? Right. Uh, Stephanie was there. Mm -hmm. um, told me everything was going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to get through this together. And... Um, there's also a woman, ha Haiti, there. She is wonderful also. Um, they got me situated in a room, um, made sure I had baby clothes, made sure I had a bed um, for myself, my child, my soon-to-be baby. Um, it, it was, wasn't easy. No. No, no. And, and I'm sure just just hearing someone, Carrie, say to you, hey, it's going to be all right, you're, you're going to be okay, you're going to make it, mm -hmm. that had to have, mm -hmm. have done something pretty special inside of you. That, that feeling, that mm -hmm. group of women to just mm -hmm. embrace you when, you know, you're scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Carrie, you also benefited from another really amazing organization here in the Keys, and I that's did. the Healthy Start mm -hmm. Coalition. Yes. And they're on a mission to really help women bring healthy babies into the community. What were they also able mm -hmm. to do for you? Yeah, Jessica took me by the hand, uh -huh. and, and every step of the way, she was right there at mm -hmm. anything I needed. Mm -hmm. She she was able to provide you with with diapers, food, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, she helped me put the bed up the day my baby came home from the hospital. Mm -hmm. She uh, also helped me um, with birth control afterwards. She helped me um, with a with a grant to get my teeth fixed mm -hmm. so that I would um, have that you know bright smile mm -hmm. um, to go find a new job. Yeah. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So they again were another source of mm -hmm. just encouragement and resource uh -huh. for you. And she's also a lactation consultant, so mm -hmm. it was nice to have someone there, you know, when I had a newborn, and, mm -hmm. you know, when now, you go through those kinds of oh, things. Oh, yeah, you, you need all of that, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, how many months were you <clears throat> able to stay at the coalition? Uh, for free. Mm -hmm. I, I stayed there um, the last three months of my pregnancy, and three months before that. Okay. Three months after the baby was born. Great. Mm -hmm. and, and now let's talk about where you are to this day. To this <laughs> day. Um, I have gone back to school. I've um, got a wonderful job that I'm very proud of mm -hmm. um, in the community. Um, my dream job. Mm -hmm. uh, the girls uh, at FKOC helped me with daycare um, they actually went out to the churches and had churches um, 
donations mm -hmm. um, so I could help pay for two weeks of daycare so that I could go out and look for a job. Mm -hmm. And then when I got my job, um, yeah, I've been there three months now. And where are you working? I'm a teacher. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> so you're teaching others and, mm -hmm. you, and you're helping them, I yes. am sure. I'm sure every day. It so. is a blessing. Yes. So that was your dream job right mm -hmm, there. Yeah. Well, and you've done it. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for, for sharing your story with us this morning. And I'm sure that you'll continue to to raise a, a healthy environment for, for your children. And That's right. <laughs> Pay it forward. Right. And all of, you know, again, the organizations that we have here in Monroe County, like the Outreach Coalition and the Healthy Start Coalition, I mean, they've mm -hmm. helped you get on your feet and... They're two, two incredible organizations, it's aren't they? It's been amazing. The holidays, um, just anything I need, really. Um, Easter, Christmas, times were tough. And mm -hmm. I was afraid, you know, my children weren't going to have the Christmas that they deserve. Mm -hmm. And above and beyond, yeah. They were able to help mm -hmm. you, help yeah. you give them those good holidays. Yes. So well, thank you again. Mm -hmm. For more information on the organization, just check out the information that you've seen on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.